is the context uh, API inside our Next.js app. So let's close this first and uh, let's create a context folder. And inside this context folder, I can create uh, any TSX file. For now, let's create a user TSX. User.tsx, which I can share between uh, all the components. So I can use this TSX file. Uh, and inside this TSX file, let's create a context, context, uh, up context equals create context from React and uh, let's give undefined and let's save this and uh, below we can create uh, a provider function export default and function and uh, let's say this provider provider and uh, let's create a bracket and inside this uh, we can create children uh, and uh, let's give children and uh, react dot react not and save it and uh, let's come here uh, and uh, let's define a constant honest name and uh, set name uh, these properties we can share between all the components set name equals uh, Let's use this state from React and uh, let's give initial uh, name of Zach and let's set this to um, string and uh, now let's close this. You can see uh, we have set this element now we need to share this element inside other components like in the app compo client component uh, now in order to do that first we need to return return uh, app context dot provider uh, like this you can see we can uh, provide this and uh, it is giving us uh, an error so inside this provider we need to specify the value that we can pass and uh, its name uh, give a two bracket and uh, it is name and set name you can see we have specified the value that we can pass uh, now we can specify children like this children now we can wrap the provider inside uh, any element so when we wrap this provider inside any element it is children we'll use the, we can uh, share this element inside the children element of this provider uh, now let's save it and uh, now it is giving us an error because uh, we have uh, assigned the context to undefined but set state name is uh, another another state let's see that you can see it is dispatch set state action string so to solve this problem we need to create an interface uh, in this part let's create an interface interface uh, context value and uh, let's give a name of string because our name is a string and uh, let's give a set name of this value I think it is this value yeah set name this value control c and uh, 
updates paste here but we can import this using react dot dispatch in the react dot set action now uh, it is still uh, private but now inside this create value we can define the value so we can uh, wrap this like this and uh, we can give context value or undefined now you can see we can wrap this element inside any element and uh, we can pass this name and set name now let's wrap this uh, inside our layout element so go to the layout element uh, and inside the layout element you can wrap the provider inside the children so come here and uh, let's say provider not like this provider which we can import from here and uh, let's cut this and paste this like this and uh, let's save it now we have wrapped all the elements inside this provider element but it is giving us a mirror because we are using uh, server component i uh, use uh, create context inside server component so we need to convert this to uh, use client like this uh, no i think it is not giving us an error yeah so now we can pass all the elements inside uh, these elements now let's create a client let's pass uh, to the client element we need to pass the name and the set name uh, inside this client element so in order to pass it uh, let's go here inside below the joke let's define another element in the let's pass name in the set name equals use context of up context i think i think it is uh, not like this yeah instead of uh, doing this we need to pass uh, this inside uh, a custom hook because it is error prone uh, it will give us some error when we pass to another element uh, even though if i can use let's say if i have logo element and inside this logo element if i use use context it will not throw error because we don't properly handle the error so in order to solve this we need to create uh, a custom hook and we need to wrap custom hook inside this element so uh, let's create a custom hook inside user 36 so inside this user 36 we can create uh, a function export function which is uh, you can you can create a separate function a separate folder for this but uh, for now i will not do that so i will create a function and uh, use up context and inside this function we can define context context equals use context use context from react and uh, inside this use context you can pass up context like this now we can uh, uh, check if the context is, is accessed outside of our provider or not so in order to check that if 
context uh, equals undefined undefined we can throw an error now if i if we try to access uh, a our provider outside of our context outside of the provider it will show an error which says let's show error show new error and uh, let's say use context is not found uh, otherwise we will return the context context now we can see we can use up uh, context hook inside the page element instead of using uh, use context uh, like this like uh, the previous one we can use use up context directly inside our component so inside this page element uh, we can come here const let's uh, define name and set name equals mm, use app context from app dot user i think it is like this you can see we can now pass name and set name to this component now inside this uh, let's render h1 and uh, let's give a name to this and uh, let's create a button and uh, inside this button let's render uh, set name set name let's say this to set name and uh, let's create on click element and inside this on click element you can render a function <coughs> which we set name uh, equals update zack and save it now let's come here and let's check it uh, let's go to client client uh, now you can see it will render the zack but now if i click this it will render updated stack so it is working fine mm. you can see uh, first we define our context we wrap our context with a custom hook and uh, we can uh, share this custom hook inside all the components using a provider As if uh, if we try to access a provider outside if we try to access a context outside of the provider like if you try to access with login login uh, component and inside this login component if you try to access the provider or the context element uh, we'll throw an error is a context not found uh, now we have a handled error now inside these children we can access the provider like this we can destructure uh, the name and set name and uh, we can access the custom hook and we can use all the elements inside the custom uh, context so now uh, you can see it is easier to share data between compo central component to other components so this is how you use uh, context element inside next.js so let's go to the next section.